Okay. So, I am so happy to be here for PAX West 2017. My name's Nick, and... Oh, one second. That you generally have to make sure the computer's on. Okay, we're good. We're good. Great. Someone tweeted out, mentioned by first panel of the weekend, Matthew, you rock. Matthew, I need to do something. Come, Matthew, can you come up here? Matthew? Matthew P. Just for that tweet, just for that, I'm going to have you let you pick a prize. Which one of these wonderful figurines would you like? Okay. You, you get a special thumbs up from me. Thank you. Did the music stop? Oh, there it is. So, awesome, awesome. So, anyway, quick introduction. Um, so I'm Nick, I'm originally from New Jersey. I used to run a street pass group in New Jersey, and I used to host a lot of tournaments. And I had Smash Brothers. Uh, if anyone knows who Max Crutchmar is, he's a part of Hitbox. He was a part of Hitbox Arena, I believe. And uh, D1 was also on my panel two years ago for PAX East and PAX West. Uh, he sent his regards. He couldn't be here because of the tournament that's going on. And next time, if there's a tournament, hopefully the tournament doesn't take place at the same time as the panel so we can get both done. But, you know, you roll with the punches and you got to do what you got to do. That's the importance. So, anyone a big fan of Smash at all? All right. All right, so before we get underway, we do have to cover our sponsors. So, uh, if you check the fly... Oh, are you okay? Are you okay? So, we've got... That's probably what that stairs over there. Yes. <laughs> Be careful. So, we've got vgm.co slash signups. Uh, could you tell us a bit about yourself and the, your... your uh, yeah, so if you sat anywhere decent, you got uh, one of my little business cards. Um, and so our company's called VG Market, also known as VGM, and we pay you to play video games. Um, so basically, that sounds too good to be true, uh, but it's not. It's market research. Basically, you come in, you play a game for a few hours, um, give your feedback on it. Um, and the cool thing is that usually, first of all, they're unreleased video games. They make you sign a non-disclosure agreement. Um, because it's stuff that the general public doesn't even know about yet. Yeah. Um, and the other cool thing is that you have a chance to affect the way the final version is made. That's awesome. Um, so we are nationwide. We do a ton of stuff in Seattle, a ton of stuff in California. So, But no matter where you live, if you, or if you have friends who play video games, tell them about us. Even my home up. state, New Jersey. Even my home state. Yeah. Awesome. So, uh, and give him a round of applause. Give Steven a round of Woo. applause, everyone. VGM. Thank you so much. I also want to give a couple other shout-outs real quickly. I want to give a shout-out, obviously, to D1. He's not here, but can clap for him. My wonderful associate, JM, who's sitting right there in the audience. Say hi to JM, everyone. And I also want to give a special shout-out to the Shaw Report, Herbert Shaw. He uh, helped me get a media badge for PAX East, and he's just an awesome, cool around guy. He also helped me for San Diego Con. So let's give him also a round of applause for not, for, unfortunately he's not here, but yep. And last, before we begin, what did everyone think of Nindy's? Can, I, really, can we get a little bit louder? A little bit louder. Woo! All right. So, let's get started. So, what is everyone's favorite character? We like Ike. Ike is great. Mewtwo. Peach. Roy's our boy. So, I'm going to pick Mario, just because that's a neutral, like, all-around character. And for my other character, I'm going to pick Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong. Don't we love Diddy Kong? Actually, I'm going to go back to training mode because that would be better. Okay. Games and more. So, training. Okay. All right. Uh, how is that noise working back there? Yeah? 
Does anyone want the, it a little louder? A little. Are we okay on the audio? Okay, let's get started. Okay, so does anyone know the basics of tournament play? Okay. Can anyone explain to me anything about tournament play? It's usually a flat battleground is the preferred. Nothing getting in the way. So generally, WarioWare is probably not going to be the best stage. And if you're talking about Sonic, well, I love Sonic, but um, the fan community is a very interesting place to talk about. We will, we will not go there. And uh, But the best stage obviously has to be the flat battlefield. Easiest to train on and just overall great. And definitely not the earthbound stage Magna Cant. But I love it. I love it. But that guy just comes in the way. And what is he, by the way? Is he a bird? Bird? bird what is it? Birdman? Birdman. Okay. So we're going to go to the battlefield stage. All right. And before we get started, does everyone have their fight cards that were given out to you before this panel started? Okay. So, no, probably because you didn't get one. You're not special. I'm sorry. Uh, but those of you who have a fight card, uh, once we get to the halfway point, I will start bringing people up. And, uh, yeah, that will be that point. But for now, let's talk about how to play. So... Basically, your objective is to knock your opponent off the stage, and easy thing you could do is you can jab your opponent. It doesn't do a ton of damage, but you see like two damage. Rapidly doing it will do a barrage attack, so you can do some combos there, like that. Then you also have your tilts, which do slightly more damage. Your tilts are generally the A and the analog stick. They do a little bit more damage, but they're not as quite as fast. And then you got smashes. You can do a basic smash. Or you can do... Oh, he's trying to get back. You can hold. And you can really get a lot of damage. And then I'll do tons of damage. So aerial attacks, obviously. A in the air. You can do up. You can do down. You can do left. And you can do right. Then you've got grabs if you grab on. You can toss them to the left, you can toss them to the right, you can toss them up, you can toss them down, you can also do a couple of jabs, which is also very useful. So another important thing is to understand specials. So Mario's specials are his fireball with his B button. He's also got a reflector, which is great. You've got his uppercut, which is basically classic Nintendo 64. Then you've got his flood mechanic since his debut in Mario Sunshine. It can also push, but it doesn't do a ton of damage, unless it charges usually, sometimes. And uh, that's mostly it on his specials. So, that's pretty much the gist of how the basics of playing. So far, we've got 55% damage. You can just do a really good smash attack and get him off stage like so. But if he recovers like so. So, what's the best way to recover? jumping. So you can do a double jump and usually most characters after their double jump you can do an up B mechanic which will also gain you some air. Uh, some characters don't really even use that for their up B like Yoshi because he throws an egg which why Yoshi you throw an egg I don't understand. You can do something better. But that's just my opinion. Um, sometimes people like to use his down B because his down B kind of goes up but only when he's on the ground. So that's one thing. Uh, certain characters do glide uh, and fly, such as Pit and Charizard. And Kirby basically has more than a double jump. He has multiple jumps where he inhales. So next we're getting into mind games and mix-ups. So what do we know about playing Smash Brothers in terms of mind games and mix-ups? Can anyone help me? Okay, reading your opponent, that's great. So, if I'm right next to my opponent, what are they expecting? Of course. So, obviously, if I'm right next to them, I'm gonna grab them. But what beats out a grab? Yes. So, does everyone know about the triangle tactic? Okay, so jabs beat the grabs, the grabs beat throws, and shields beat grab, uh, shields beat jabs. So that's the basic on that part. Um, knowing how to read your opponent is key. And 
as we can see, Diddy, Diddy Kong's kind of a pushover because we made him a pushover. But uh, we'll have him actually we'll have him attack. So he'll attack me. And he's doing his little peanut gun maneuver. If he shoots you, it's gonna hurt. So we could just throw him. We could basically, he's pretty easy to read in simple computer. I could basically just shield and, and throw when I'm close. Which probably isn't the best strategy when you're talking about pro strategies. But hey, that works well. So, and I'm accumulating more damage. So who's everybody's favorite Smash Brothers pro player? Mewtwo King? I actually know Mewtwo King's teacher, believe it or not. Yeah. 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 So, anyway, also talking about spacing and movement, which it also comes into a bit of play when it tops out mind, mind games and mix-ups. So, obviously, if you're further away, shooting projectiles is a great idea, but with Mario, you have the ability to reflect that back if he chooses to, but I didn't do it correctly. Yeah, I still didn't do it correctly. Oh, there we go. Sometimes he drops a little banana peel. Thank you, thank you. This is actually the first panel I've actually had to talk by myself. Uh, so, anyway, so that's the general idea when you talk about spacing and movement. The closer you are, the more likely you're gonna do grabs. Further away, best to do little fireballs. You can also do jabs up close. And if someone is, say, falling from above, you can knock them up with an up smash. Just like that. He's a star now. So, we also got combos. Combos are in different ways. I just showed one earlier with the jabs. You mash the A button a bunch, you can definitely pull a combo off there. You can also grab and then nudge a bit and then combine it into a throw. But if you don't get it in time, obviously that's that. Does anyone know any great combos? Up tilt, down tilt. Up tilt four times. Yeah. Okay. So, don't we all love how Mario just moves very acrobatic like he is in Super 64? So, he's just a what? I know, he's an all-around character. He's great. And Diddy Kong is, is like very fast and... So that's mostly about combos, just trying to tack on as much damage as possible through using jab or even during throws. So defensive recovery options. So obviously you can guard by using the shield, but your shield does deplete over time. And if you do deplete over time, you will shield break. And shield breakling can be broken by randomly tapping buttons very quickly. But if you don't get in time, you will get attacked. And I just stepped on Diddy Kong. So, your off-stage game, you can do ledge grabs, but unfortunately, ledge holding, you'll usually get bumped off because that avail option isn't available anymore. Um, and don't forget, when you're off-stage, you're not out, you need to jump to get back to stage, and you use your up beat generally to get back on stage. So, all right, let's check the time, 12.15. All right, so I'm actually going to call someone up on stage a little early, and we're going to do... All right, so show me your fight cards, and I'll pick from someone from the audience. I will pick you. I'll pick you. You'll be next soon. So... Could you give us an introduction? Hi, I'm Connor. Hi, Connor. Where are you from? Uh, around here, Seattle area. Great. And do you play Smash Brothers competitively a lot? A little here and there. A little. Okay. So, what's your favorite thing to play on Smash Brothers? Uh, as a stage? Yes. Battlefield. Battlefield. Time. Right. So, we're actually going to have a little fun here. We're going to have him do Smash Run, and I'm going to talk about his play tactics and such. All right. So, let's see who your favorite character is. Okay. Alright. Solo. There you go. 
Any character will do. Greninja is my personal favorite, though they nerfed him. I don't have any customs, and, uh... Let's get into it. Yeah, let's get into it. So we're going to start with the smash run. Enemies Glunder. An electrical enemy will no particular weaknesses, but fairly low health. It attacks a wide range. Anyway, Gerudo Valley, great song. Does anybody like Gerudo Valley? Yeah, great stage, right? Omega? Okay. So, we got Robin here. Does anyone know Robin's attacks? Okay, can we name them? Okay. Yep. All right. So what's very unique about his attacks is, do they last forever? No. no. And what happens when you run out? You get wrecked. Yes, you get wrecked. Exactly. But what can you do with your book that's a last ditch resort? Exactly. Throw the so book. throw the book. And remember, reading is the best attack on education. Reading is the best attack on education because knowledge is power. So, we got him. He's around four minutes. Connor's at the four minute mark, trying to get as much, as much power ups as possible for his final fight. So we got some characters from, can we name these games that they're from? Is this uh, Kid Icarus Uprising? Can we name some of the characters? Kid Icarus? That one's Donkey Kong. You know, I think uh, Metroids are also in Kid Icarus, aren't they? Yeah, kinda? Kinda? So, is anyone looking forward to Samus Returns? Woo! You know, last year, Nintendo, they released uh, Metroid Prime Federation Force, and then they heard the cry of the fans. Samus Returns. So, he's p getting some power-ups, some arms, some attacks, some special. Ooh, is that a character from Find Me? I think it is. Is that the ghost? You can only break it with a yellow sword. Or a yellow shirt. Ooh, is he gonna go inside the door? And he does! Alright, so this is the normal difficulty Crystal Smash. Basically, same concept took, taken from Street Fighter, breaking a car. You want to do as much damage as possible, whether you want to hit the sides, hit the top, or, well, you can't really hit a bottom, but you can hit it from the top or the sides. So he's going to get power-ups, too. Ooh, that took a lot of time. It didn't do a whole lot of damage, unfortunately. He's tr trying to get some mini combos up as well. Okay, so he will return back now. Okay. Ooh, that beam is going to take... Oh, and he's getting drained by the Metroid. He's getting drained by the Metroid. All right. Something said, oh, it's gone. Oh, oh, ouch. I'll go through the door once again. All right, so he's getting attacked by, is that bugs? Looks like bugs. Does, can anyone name that for me? What is it? Pikmin? Yep, I would say so. So he's got about a minute left. A minute left. Did anyone play Smash Brothers back in 2014 when it was at PAX West? So I actually got to play one of the, at the time, a closer final build that Nintendo had under wraps during uh, media. And uh, some of the things were a bit more finer tuned, obviously, but not like the final, final version, but uh, some of the things that were interesting was like Pac-Man could do a little bit more damage, and Greninja was a bit faster, but now he's nerfed. R.I.P. Greninja. Mega Man's pretty good. I, I like Mega Man. A friend of mine, uh, Red Tux TK, uh, that's his uh, channel name, 
he is an excellent Mega Man player, and every time he plays his Mega Man, oh, we got some Stalfos and uh, K-Mech. All right, come on. We've got 11 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, so let's see his power-ups and how he will do. All right, so that's what it looks like. Final battle. Crap. Reach the goal <laughs> faster than anybody else. <laughs> Is Robin the slowest character? We'll find out. Like second to Ganondorf? <laughs> <laughs> run! Run for your life! It depends on it! Run! You gotta run! Force, run! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Okay, well, Luigi's slow, but he's still, <laughs> he's still beating you. Luigi's beating you. Oh, wait, can he pull forward? Can he pull ball? Oh, he might take the gold. Oh. Come on, Robin. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, Charizard is ahead of you. Oh, Luigi's, <laughs> Luigi's running for his life. Third is the third is the one with the what is it again? I don't remember. First is the first is the worst. Second is the best. Oh, you're getting faster. You're getting faster. Okay, and it's okay. Sakurai, why? <laughs> Sakurai, why? Why'd you make Robin so slow? Is the female faster? No. Charizard won that one, but you know what? You did such a great job. Uh, you can pick any prizes except for the hat. Which would you like? You got a choice of between a little um, figurines. Or, you want Cat Luigi? He did run the fastest. Yeah. Well, second to Charizard-ish. Yes. Ish. Actually, no, Luigi beat you, followed by Falco, and then Charizard was first. Okay, so I will have you come up because I was going to have you. You were in the front in the beginning, correct? Do you think your Splatoon hat will help you see better? No. Well, you can hide underground with it, right? I think we will. All right, so we're going to also have you do Smash Run as well. And could you please introduce yourself to the audience? Hi, my name is Christian, also known as Mr. 64 Luigi. Alright, so take a character and let's get started. You know, Duck Hunt Dog is actually kind of an underestimated character, I have to say. And Ness is also really great. I never knew about his up B. He propels himself by hitting himself. So, who, who, yeah, he's the best. I mean, and Lucas is also great. And who doesn't like Tony? Who's Tony? But anyway, so so you got some are those Waddle Dees? I believe they're Waddle Dees. And you got some arms. Is that a spiny? Okay. Ooh, taking some damage. All right, and he's grabbing up some specials, some specials and jumps. All right, speed and attack. Great. Is this the Pokemon theme music? Can we turn the music a little more up? Oh, okay. He's got 25 seconds left to clear the enemies. Oh, Ness is getting owned. Oh, but he took out Coffee. Kofefe. He took out Kofefe. And don't forget to stick around when I announce the winner for the hat. This hat will be given away. Awesome. So he goes through the cannon barrel. Nice. All right. 
so what else will he be doing? Okay, so he collects more power-ups. Nice. Who doesn't like arms, right? The game? Anyone play it? Yep. He actually has some arms up here. If he doesn't pick it, someone else might get it. Oh, his PK Thunder got burned. Oh! Is that the Michael Jackson wannabe? No. Ah, oh, try again. Oh, that yo yo is great. Walk the dog nest. So, he's gonna. No, is he gonna go? No, he didn't pick up the Star Rod. But he does get a speed power up. All right, so he's taking the the barrels up. Yeah, nice treasure chest. What is that? What is it? Oh, I'm kidding. Yeah, and the polar bear from Ice. Cl Wait, Ice Climbers isn't in this game, is the, Are they? No, they are not. So let's see if, what else he can do within the remaining two minutes. Hopefully he won't have to run because Robin clearly did a great job. But let's see what Ness can do. Oh, okay. Ooh, taking some damage there. Okay. Come on, Ness, you can do it. Kofefe again with the Stalfos. Okay. We got some polar bears and Stalfos. Nice. Oh! Yeah, that PK Cross can be tough to use sometimes. But anyway, so will he take care of the Stalfos in time? Or will, will he just... Let's see what happens. Ooh. Okay. All right. All right, nice. So he collects some power-ups for defense and attack. All right. So he's got a minute left to go. Is that Cryogonal? Of course. I think my favorite is Frostlass, Icy Wind, with the uh, Destiny Bond, and you got a Focus Sash going on. You know what I'm talking about for those pro Pokemon players. Okay, getting attacked by Kofefe again. Alright, looks like that bomb's gonna explode. 30 seconds remaining on the clock. Alright, so that treasure chest looks like it had legs. Okay. 18 seconds, 17. Who wants to count down when it gets to 5? When we get down to five, we'll count down. Four, three, two, one, time. Okay, let's see his power-ups and let's see how that goes. So speed 260, 228, 183, special, arms, defense. Alright, let's see what he has to do. Oh, smell okay! You can do this! On Brinstar. Whose stage is that? Ready? Samus is correct. <laughs> Alright, so he's only got a smash for about a minute. Can he get Dark Pit and KO'd? Alright, so looks like Ness might be able to pull it off. Ah, nice up smash, and looks like Pit is out for that one. So Ness has one. Oh, someone also got a kill. Okay, that crate looked like it exploded. We've got 25 seconds remaining on the clock. And, ooh, Ness got Greninja. Greninja is basically a glass cannon, and even less so of a cannon, more so glass, because they nerfed him, but... You know, still like him. Ness got knocked out. Ooh, but can Ness win? We'll find out. Four, three, two, one, time.
Will we get sudden death? And Ness winning for the home team! Nice job. You get to pick any of these prizes up on stage. What would you like? Would you like the figurines? Would you like the pins? Would you like this sword that's like a bookmark? I think I'll go pins. Pins? Okay. Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight for the win. Okay. Anyone else having their fight cards? There should be more than that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Nice. So, all right, fancy pirate hat, nice. Thank you. All right, so show your fight cards once up again. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six left. Do you have, you have a fight card as well, so it's seven, eight. So we got eight total, so we got eight people left. Okay, so, Hold them up one more time and I'm gonna pick Eeny Meeny Miny Mo. Catch the tiger by the toe. My mother picked the very best one and you are it. All right. And I will be announcing the winner of the hat at 1250. So stay just a little bit longer. All right. So who, what is your name and introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Richard. Hi, Richard. And where are you from? I'm from Portland, Oregon. And who? Awesome. Portland, Oregon. Represent Oregon. Yep. Okay. Uh, so, who will you be playing as? Uh, depends. Are we still playing Smash Run? Obviously. Or Smash Run. I gotcha. Okay. We like Ike. We like Ike. Can I get a chant? We like Ike. We like Ike. We like Ike. Okay, so hopefully Ike doesn't have to run because he's not exactly the fastest in track and field. But I heard he did really well in the shot put. So getting started underway, grabbing some power-ups, very important. Looks like he's taking those hammer throws. And is that from Dig Dug? That was Dig Dug, getting some more. Oh no, it's a spirit. You gotta inflate it, it'll die that way. Okay, so can he take care of the- yep. Nice. Okay, watch out for those hammer bros, because he's about to throw hammers at you. Alright, can he get some more power-ups as well? Careful those fire bars. And we got another enemy from Kid Icarus. Ugh, those darn hammers are in the way. You think they'd throw something else, like a shell, or I don't know something. Oh, and there's the ether. If only it healed me. If it only it healed him. That soul in Luna is very powerful in Fire Emblem. So is Ike everyone's favorite Fire Emblem character? Marth? Marth? I don't get a Krom? No Robin? Who's Krom? Who's Krom? <laughs> I know, but I have one hint for Lucina. No tip required. <laughs> so we're already at the three and a half minute mark. Okay. Oh! You know what? I'm going somewhere else. I think someone cast mini on him from Final Fantasy. Well, it's okay. Maybe you can get to a smaller dungeon. But looks like he's now bigger. All right, so he's gonna take a different route. Oh, but it's not gonna lead him the way he wants to go. So can he climb up? No. Nope. <laughs> All right. So the ghost from Find Me is attacking him with his yellow shield. I believe Ether is a yellow colored attack, isn't it? Anyway, uh, I mean his sword is kind of yellow. Yeah, right. Can anyone name the sword that Ike has? Ragnar. And what's very unique about it? Distant, distant, distant attacks. That's that's true. It actually is the only weapon that can actually penetrate the armor of the Black Knight. And gods. And gods. From Radiant Dawn. Anyway, we've got some shy guys on the field, some enemies from Kid Icarus. Collecting lots of power-ups, which is great. Okay. 
Nice, nice. Getting some more power-ups there. Looks like he's got... Oh, okay. He's going to take the uh, little... Defeat them all. Ooh, this looks tough. Is that, uh, is that ground also fire ground? That's dangerous. Now, if only he can... Ooh! I guess jumping on them doesn't look like it works. Oh, it does! Work like Super Mario Brothers. We got some Stalpos here. Get those power-ups. Oh, there's a tomato! You can get a tomato! High in vitamin C. Okay. Get that lycopene! Nah, sorry, you won't. You won't get that lycopene. But anyway... So moving forward, we have about a little, almost a little, well, at this point, about less than a minute to go for now. And let's see, he's trying to defeat this guy to collect its special power-ups. So get some speed, defense, attack, it's very important, smash run. All right. Can we all do the war cry that he does for Ether? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So, defeating enemies left and right. All right. So, 15, a little less than 15 seconds to go. Yes. Four. Three, two, one, time! Let's see his power-ups! All right, so, a lot of attack. I think Ike is gonna be a smasher. <laughs> nice! Let's hope it's not a speed run. I know All right. First enemy team, defeat as many as you can before the time runs out. All right. Ready, go! Wrath of the Reset Bomb. Oh my god, it's just like Kid Icarus Uprising, but you're Ike instead of Pit. If only we got some really awesome banter right now from, uh, from Pit. What would they say right now? I don't know. But I'm sure Verdi would love to, to knock her opinion in there. This game and that game are two different games. So, taking out left and right, will he be able to defeat everybody in time? I don't know. Looks like 21, 23 have been defeated, 24. Those eyeballs will come at you. Hopefully he doesn't turn into an eggplant. So, five, four, three, two, one, time! Or game. <laughs> All right, let's give a round of applause. I fight for my friends. All right, great job. So, fight for you. before you I go, fight. before you go, what prize would you like to take? Um arms, you got some wonderful figurines like Mario, Peach, a Goomba. Are the arms actually arms? Yes, you can actually wear these and use them like little like things. Do you want them? Yes, I'll gladly take them. They were actually, they were given away at E3. A fun little fact, I was in line for arms and unfortunately the tournament started and I waited three hours, but they gave me those wonderful arm bracers, so you won them from E3 today. Great job. So... Let's get underway for the next person. Hold up your fight cards. All right. Also, did everyone do the Twitter instructions? We're following for this hat from Super Mario Odyssey, signed by Charles Martinet, voice actor of Mario. Okay, and I will be calling out in the next 10 minutes. All right, so for fight cards, place them up again. All right, so we're not going to do Smash Run because it's going to take a little bit long, so I'm going to try to get everybody in. I'm going to bring you up on stage. It's a me, a Mario. Oh. 
Okay. So could you please introduce yourself to the audience? My name is Vincent. I'm from Los Angeles, California. Vincent, awesome. So do you ever attend any of the Street Pass LA events? Or I believe they're the Switch players now. Uh, no, I wa wasn't there. Okay. Well, they have events monthly. You should check them out. They're online. I believe they switched over from Street Pass Los Angeles to the Switch Players Los Angeles. Great group. A lot of friends there. So, anyway, we're going to get started right now. Go ahead and pick a character, and then I'll pick your CPU. My boy, Kirby. His boy, Kirby. Is it still Kirby! Okay, so... And what is Kirby's biggest enemy? King DD. King DD. That's a great one. So we're going to give him a level 7. And, oh, this might be tough. I'll do my best. He'll do his best. All right, so I've got to just check the timing real quickly. All right, so two minutes, perfect. So try to get as many KOs as you can within the time limit. Battlefield, Omega form. Okay. Two, one, go! Okay, so Kirby with a strong start. Okay. All right, nice job, Kirby. So, is his is his thing inhale or does anyone know what it's called when he takes an enemy in? Inhale, and then he just takes their, their power bar, right? So he can use his hammer now. Doesn't Kirby technically already have a hammer? So it's pointless to have King Didi's hammer, is it? No. King Didi's hammer is stronger. Can't you usually shoot uh, the power as a projectile? Does anyone know? If you have if you have someone's ability, use the mimic ability. Can you projectile their their ability out at them? No. Yes. Yes, you can. All right, turned into a little block there. Oh! Oh! Uh, no, no. Uh, don't worry. All right, so we got 23 seconds left to go. Ooh! Come on, get that KO for the sudden death! Come on, guys! Ten seconds! Help me count the... Oh! Okay. Help me count... Two! One! Zero! Time! All right, sudden death! Go! Oh! Well, don't worry, because even though you're a loser, you're a winner. And just like John Legend says, when you lose, you're winning. Because you get to get pick a wonderful prize. What would you like? I'm going to take the Mario. Okay, he'll take the Mario. Show up your fight cards. Okay. I'm going to pick you right there. Okay. And I'm actually going to pick someone from Twitter, so don't leave. Because just because you don't have a fight card, don't think that you're left out. So, all right. So, can we get a round of applause? All right. Can we get your name? I'm Tyler. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from Anchorage, Alaska. Wow, nice. So, all right. So, let's go on. All right. So, you're going to pick your... Pick the person you want to play as, and I will pick your opponent. Okay, so what do we know about Little Mac? He's a great ground fighter, but everywhere else. So what should we do? I don't want to make this too mean, but I'll give you sheep. 
So that's, that's going to be an interesting type matchup. So I'll give you level... S you look a little tougher. I'll give you eight. So we'll go one step above the rest. So let's go for the same stage, Omega Form, and let's get started. So Chain Chomp, you can't defeat a Chain Chomp, just post it to its chain. Alright, so Sheik and Little Mac will be facing off, and looks like he'll be charging for some uppercuts. Do we think he's going to pull off a KO uppercut? Can he do it? And remember, use your side B, not your up B, because his jump is terrible. Like, literally, not the best idea to do. Unless it's from the ground. But still, don't jump with it. Alright, so doing great damage to Sheik. So did anyone like the change? Ooh! Nice! Sheik's a star! Thanks to Little Mac. So does anyone like the change that they separated Sheik and Zelda from each other? Yeah? So, personally, I thought it was a cool idea having the ability to switch between the two, but uh, definitely a unique uh, twist on, I think Sheik has a bomb and Zelda has an ability to use her thing from train tracks, which anyone play train tracks? Or spirit tracks? See, that's why I don't even remember it, because I call it train tracks. But anyway, 49 seconds left. Okay. Okay. So 35 seconds left to go. 35 seconds left to go. 24. Still doing great overall, I have to say. This guy's a champ right now, very natural. Okay. All right. One, time. Nice. So, what is uh, what is his coach's favorite thing to eat? Chocolate. Nice. So you get to pick any prizes except for the hat. Which one would you like? The sword would be nice. Okay. So I'm gonna extend the Mario hat giveaway just another couple minutes. So hold up your fight cards once again. Okay, I'm gonna pick you. All right. And could you please introduce to us your name? Renee from Anchorage, Alaska. Wonderful. Are you, uh, so he was also from Anchorage, Alaska. Are you related in any way or? No. Best no? friends. <laughs> Best friends. How long have you known each other for? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Two, three years? Yeah. Something like that. Okay. So we're going to get under underway right now. So, how would you rank yourself as a Smash Bros. player? Beginner, intermediate, or advanced? Okay, so I'm going to go easy on you and let you have a, an easier computer. But go pick up your character right now. Okay, is that who you are playing as? Yes. Okay, so you're going to play as Sheik as well? Alright, so I think we're going to have fun. I think Sheik should face off of Ganondorf. So... That's going to be that type matchup, but we got to go. I mean, Sheik has to have a fair fight because, you know, girl against a guy. Okay, so we're going to do that. All right, let's get started. Omega form. And if you don't get a chance to fight up on stage and you have fight cards, you'll be able to pick up a prize. Three, two, one, go! Okay, so she's doing a great job. Let's give her a round of applause. 
All right, so we're at the minute and a halfway point, and Sheik doesn't show any signs of wearing down, but they're kind of just going about each other. Oh, there was a connect right there. All right, come on, Sheik. Sheik, 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 Sheik. Uh, oh! Come on, Sheik, get it to seven death, or can you win? That vanish. Okay, all right. Ganondorf, you can do this. You got this. Just gotta connect those attacks. She's got this. Nice. All right. Ooh! Will she get the KO? Ten seconds remaining. Come on, do the aerial attack. Or do a smash. Time. Time. So, you didn't quite win, but don't worry, you're not gonna go home with empty-handed, so what would you like to pick from this table? We got the wonderful Peach, and we got Dark Horse, Lanyard, and Goomba. Okay. So, all right, so I'm gonna pick another prize that's not the Mario hat yet, but just in a moment I will. Um, I don't believe we have any more fights left, but I'm gonna do prizes to wrap it up since we have seven minutes left to go. So, I have this wonderful darker eye. Does anyone like darker? Does anyone have Pokemon? Okay, so I'm gonna check Twitter and I'm gonna pick someone for darker eye. All right, you, can, you may sit down. Give her a round of applause, everyone. All right. All right, so we will pick from our followers and make sure you're following. Okay. So, I will pick... Who is Premier Plays? Come up. Can you use a dark eye? Do you have Pokemon? Would you want to give it to him? Awesome. Okay, so let me see what else I have special. I have this Smash Brothers Invitational ticket back in 2014. But I'm going to keep on that one because that's actually important to me. Because I had the... Did anyone watch that one? I was wearing the Mii head with the red jacket. Anyone remember that? The Buzz won it. He was on my panel back in 2015. So I have some Mario Party Island Tour cards. Show up your fight cards once more. Fight cards. Any remaining fight cards? Uh, would you like to win the cards? Yeah? Come on up. You and a pair of Mario Party Island Tour, which is already available. But hey, cool. And uh, who's the last fight card? You can have it instead. You can have it instead. He likes Harvest Moon. So let's get the last fight card person up. Okay, and what would you like to pick? We got Mario Party Island Tour, the Goomba. All right. And so now is the moment you've all been coming for. Drum roll. Okay, so. Drum roll. I'm going to pick a random number between. Okay. Well, it's technically not random because it's between 1 and 10. So it's 5. So I'm going to count down from 5 for my followers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it looks like the winner of this Mario hat is Shadow Forks. Awesome!
There you go. And we have two more prizes left, so I'm going to pick some random prizes for the last two, and that will conclude this panel. So, before we go, let's pick the last two prizes. Oh, where did you go? Where did you go? Oh, I guess it doesn't. Well, anyway, so I'm going to pick randomly. Well, I have to go Patrick. Steven Atuk. Atuk, did I pronounce that right? Steven? Hey, Tuck. So you get to choose between the cards or the wonderful dark horse. Like Katy Perry's coming at you like a dark horse. So, and the last prize before we enter this panel, end this panel, these wonderful Mario Party Island Tour cards. So, drum roll please. I will pick... Who is Sergio Palooza? Were you at the Nindy event last night? Were you at the Nindy event last night? Awesome. So anyway, that concludes the Smash Brothers Settle and Smash panel. Thank you so much for coming. Please make a calm exit out the doors and no pushing or shoving. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. <laughs>